Here's a look at what I got to see during the total eclipse in 2017. See how there's that glow around the sun? That's energy leaving the sun. And it happens all the time. And while there's always outflow from the sun, there are particular moments where the sun has a, an outburst. And that gets called a solar flare, which is what Dan studies. I can sit at my computer screen and watch a solar flare happen. And I just think like, it's so tangible. It's really, really exciting for the sort of kid in me. Dan's a scientist at NASA. He studies how to better forecast these big bursts of energy. See, solar flares, they have the potential to affect us on Earth. And it can disrupt uh, radio communication for airplanes. It can uh, cause GPS inaccuracies. So there's actually a lot of effects we feel through our technological systems, and we have to be prepared for them. So why haven't we heard about this before? For the last few years, and the sun's been pretty quiet. We haven't seen a lot of big outbursts. But all that is about to change. NASA has just discovered that the sun is entering a new phase, a phase where the sun will have a lot more of these solar flares than usual. Going forward the next couple of years towards like 2024, 2025, these events are gonna be a lot more common. What if one of these big energy bursts is way, way bigger than usual? That actually can damage wide scale power grids and cause huge blackouts. To find out how concerned we should be, I reached out to PPL, one of our local power companies. We have not had any negative effects, any impacts on our grid in the past from these. Joe's a communications manager at PPL, and he says their supercomputer smart grid technology is ready for solar flares. Over the years, we've created new paths for power to get into areas. So if, if something happens on one line, we can switch that power and get into that community from another direction. This new innovative technology has already showed its value. So far, it's prevented, get this, one million power outages. Time will tell if we get a real test by the sun. You know, on Earth, it feels like we're pretty isolated from space, but we're not. And you can actually kind of almost feel like you can reach out and touch space. With the Out of This World story from Lehigh County, I'm meteorologist Drew Anderson on 69 News.